Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Alex, and as you can tell by the title, I got accepted into the Disney College program. On this channel, I usually talk about everything. Lately, I had been talking about thrifting and fashion. I still want to incorporate all of that into my next chapter of my life, but uh, like I said, I, I always talk about everything on this channel. This is the newest chapter of my life, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys, and today I really want to go over a couple of things. I wrote a whole thing. <laughs> Today I want to talk about how I got accepted, when I got accepted, give you a background on my story, but also tell you what's going on with the Disney College program, as well as keep you guys up to date on what I am currently doing in the entire process of the Disney College program. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, I got accepted into the Disney College program. I'm so excited. If you guys want to, and if you guys are, please go ahead, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you're doing the Disney College program. If you're vlogging it, if you're recording it, whatever you're doing, please let me know because I want to be friends. Um, if you didn't know, this time around, I will not be living on... Um, on Disney property. I will be living with my aunt down in Florida, so if there's anybody who isn't going to be living at Flamingo Crossings, then I just wanted to be kind of somebody to show you what it's like not living there, and hopefully I'll make some friends, so I'll let you guys know how that goes, um, but I think it'll give another perspective because I feel like a lot of people who you know, record or document this experience. I feel like a lot of everybody lives at the apartments, which is great, but I wanted to show you what it will be like for somebody who doesn't live there and yeah, exactly what it's like. So anyway, if you guys have been here for a while or if you guys listen to my podcast or if you follow me on Instagram or if you know me personally, then you know I'm so, so, so excited about this. To give you a little bit of background, I just got accepted for the fall 2021 program. I'll be down there from September until February. I actually had been originally accepted. I was one of those people who had been accepted for fall advantage of 2020, but then of course everything got canceled and I kind of want to talk about all of that with you guys as well. But before I get into that, why don't we just start from the very beginning so you guys get to know me a little bit better. It kind of all started when I was at Magic Kingdom. I still remember the date exactly. It was December 29th, 2014 and I was there with my family. We were on vacation. It was my aunt's birthday and the park was packed. So this was pre-COVID. It was like at max capacity at like, I don't know, 10 o'clock in the morning. So we knew going into it that there was gonna be kind of no way that we'd get on a ride. So just like anybody else would do, we decided to get some ice cream at 10 o'clock in the morning. I think it was, I don't, I wish I knew the name of it, but you guys know the one I'm talking about, the one right at Main Street. We got ice cream there and we were just sitting at like those yellow, umbrella, like the yellow umbrella seats. You guys know, if you've been there, then you know what I'm talking about. And we were eating our ice cream. And then this cast member, I had never seen a cast member like him, like in his costume, like that kind of costume before. He had like a hat on, like a sun hat, and he was wearing like a Hawaiian shirt and just like some khaki shorts. And he was just this cute, sweet, older man. And his name was Fred. And he came and talked to us for a long time. And I was like, why is he talking to us for so long? Like, you know, there's so many people here, shouldn't he be doing his job? But I mean, regardless, I was still happy to like just talk to somebody who worked at Disney. He kind of, I think, was catching on that we were wondering why he was talking to us for so long. And he's like, yeah, you guys are probably wondering why I'm still here talking to you. And he said, I was wondering if you and your entire family would like to be the Grand Marshals of the two 30 parade today. My jaw dropped. I was so excited. And so yeah, we got chosen to be the grand marshals of the parade. And I have been going to Walt Disney World in Florida every year since I was three. I'm very, very blessed. I know that I am. And it's been something very special to me, not only me, but also my family as well. And I think I, so I was, when I was in 2014, I think I was I was 16 years old. To have been going there for 13 years and then finally, like it had always been magical. But for something like that big, I guess, to happen it was just beyond belief. And it was just, it was a really magical moment. And that was kind of when it really hit me 
hey, I think I know what I want to do with my life. Like, I want to go to college and I, I know I wanted to go to college, but I wanted to somehow make it to Disney to do things like that for other people to have them have those really magical moments where it just, I mean, it was a parade, but you know, it's just, it's Disney. It was, it was so cool. So I then found out that there was a Disney college program and I was like, this is going to be perfect. I'm going to do the Disney college program. That way I can make these magical memories for so many people. Fast forward to going to college. I, I actually graduated May of 2020 last year with a degree in communication and marketing. And throughout my entire time at college, I was trying to decide when I wanted to apply to the Disney college program. And I watched so many different YouTube videos all about the Disney college program, which is really why I want to do this. I want to document it for not only myself, but for you guys too, to be um, as informative and as I can and be a, a, a mark of inspiration for anybody else who's kind of wondering, you know, should I do it? Should I not do it? Go for it. I was very inspired by all of those people that I watched on YouTube and saw on Instagram, which is why I love social media is that it just has this big point of inspiration for people. And I decided to do it after my senior year because that way, if I love the Disney College program, which I'm hoping to, I think it'll be a great experience regardless of whatever happens, I wouldn't have to come back and finish up my degree where as if, you know, like when I'm doing it after senior year, I can stay down there and if it leads to other opportunities, I don't have to be tied back to coming back to doing the rest of my college degree. So it was a very difficult decision. It took me years. It took me so many years to figure it out, um, but obviously do whatever is best for you. I talked to so many people. One of the people that I talk to all the time, I call him the Disney dude at my college. He worked in, well, he works in the career services center there and I would talk to him at least once a semester. <laughs> just about the Disney College program, when I was gonna do it, and kind of what was gonna work best for me. Thank you, Disney dude, for helping me through all of it. <laughs> Let's talk about the first time I got into the Disney College program. So a lot of you, since you're watching this video, you probably are doing your research to see how to get into the Disney College program. And if you want a separate video, I think I might do a separate video. The first time I applied to the Disney College program, like I said, was my senior year of college and it was January 2020. So this was before everything really got crazy and that was when I had been planning to do it. That was when applications opened up for Fall Advantage for 2020 uh, for the Disney College program. I had, like I said, been researching this for years. When I first applied in 2020, I applied as the first day the applications opened and as soon as I applied, I think I got an email, I got an email like right afterwards for a web-based interview. Then you schedule your web-based interview and right after my web-based, I think I took it like two days afterwards just because of my class schedule. So right after my web-based interview, I, I got an automatic proceed to phone interview, schedule your phone interview, which usually after your application, you could wait days, weeks, or even months to hear back for the web-based interview. Same with the web-based interview before you get your phone interview. You could wait days, weeks, or months to hear back from that before your phone interview. And then the same thing with your phone interview, you could wait days, weeks, or months to hear back about if you're actually getting into the Disney College program. So you have to be very open to not knowing what you're gonna be doing. And that was something I was really prepared for, but obviously, it was difficult when I went through it. I thought it was difficult the first time. I realized I was very lucky because my whole application process, the application, the web-based interview, and the phone interview, and then getting accepted all happened within two weeks. I started to apply January, then I got accepted in February, and then my program got canceled in April. And then this time around, applications opened back up to people who had their programs canceled it opened back up May 3rd, so I applied May 3rd. And then I didn't have to do the web-based interview or the phone interview, it was basically just tell us what date you can start and then we'll go from there. Like they said, all based on operational need. And I'm actually in a wedding and I decided to wait to start till September. So I was somebody, 
I waited over three months to hear back from Disney, which was very nerve-wracking. I know other people have to go through it. I didn't think I would have to go through it considering the first time I got in that was all I had to base it off of so it was it was it was definitely a lot of waiting and a lot of a lot of um, patience it really tested my patience but um, that's kind of where they're at with things now and where I am currently I am I just just today I had my Disney College program zoom meeting those I think are new this year with um, the with COVID, they're kind of trying to make people feel more reassured. That way they have these different, it's just like a forum. Um, they had like a little slideshow and they answered kind of frequently asked questions and we got to meet some of the recruiters, which was really, really cool. Um, but that's where I am now. There's a lot I have to do to prepare. So I wanted to take you guys along with me and kind of see where that goes. I will say a couple tips. Uh, when you apply to the Disney College program. Follow Recruiter Christy on Twitter because she always gives you updates. She's super great about it. That really helps. And then also turn on your email notifications because you never know when it honestly it comes when you're least expecting it. I know everybody says that and it's so annoying but literally that's what happened the same, like each time I got in, the first time I was in class and I was leaving class and I was like, oh, I have email notifications and I had been getting a lot from my RA about different events and things like that. And so I was like, oh, it's probably an RA email. And then I looked and it said, Disney, congratulations, you've been accepted into the Disney college program. And then um, this time around, I was on vacation uh, up north. I'm, I'm living in Michigan. So I was on vacation up north in the UP. And I knew that they were doing acceptances because I follow Recruiter Christy on Twitter. And um, I knew that they were doing them. And I was like, oh my gosh, please, please, please. And I, I was like, I can't look at my phone because if I stare at my phone, then I know, you know, I'm just gonna be staring at my phone this whole time. Um, so I proceeded to stare at my phone for 45 minutes and I was like, I have to stop. So I went outside and I read my book for, I don't know, like a half an hour or so. And I came back in and I, there was no notification. And I was like, ugh, are you kidding me? And as soon as I thought that, all of a sudden I got the notification that I got in. So it happens when you least expect it. I know you probably hate hearing that, but it's the truth. I have a lot to do before before uh, I move down to Florida, and I want to take you guys along with me. That's where I am right now. I will see you guys in another video. Bye!